Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to show you is this simple little two and a half D head turn. And this is kind of a precursor to some of the things I'm going to be showing you for our upcoming webinar, 10 things you need to know about Toon Boom Harmony. And this is for all those people who are thinking it's too difficult to learn. Uh, I'm afraid to take the plunge. I'm going to do a one and a half hour webinar and uh, even have a Q&A section. But I want to show you 10 simple things that you need to know about Toon Boom Harmony if you just opened it up for the first time, how you can create your own animation and get going. So this is what I'm going to be creating and let's go ahead and get started. So let's first get here to our opening screen and we see that it's asking for a new scene. So I'm going to simply call this simple underscore head. It's a good practice to uh, start using underscores instead of just spaces, especially when you're working with harmony. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default, one of the default camera sizes here. And actually, let's say I can do 1280 by 720. And I'm going to leave it at 24 frames per second. And I'll go ahead and select Create Scene. Now, one of the first things I want to do is make sure I turn off my Animate button. It's a little running guy there. And I'll go ahead and click on my select button and what I want to do is grab my brush tool and a cool thing about the brush tool in Toon Boom Harmony if I hold down my O key I can click and drag and make the brush larger or smaller so I'm just going to simply draw out a head okay I like that one and We'll simply call this layer head. And I'm going to add a new drawing layer. So I'm going to come over here and simply click the add drawing layer button. And I'm going to add eyes. So we'll click on add. And I'm going to add the nose. Add and we'll add the mouth and we'll click add and close. So now we have several layers and I want to click on my eyes layer. I'm just going to zoom in here with my mouse and just create some simple little eyes. It's a little bit too large on my brush there. So I'm going to bring that back down. All right. And then I'll do the nose. Yeah, that works. And last but not least, we'll do the mouth. So I'm going to zoom out. It doesn't look too bad. And what I want to do for now is I want to set a registration point for each of these. Now, there are two ways of doing this. You can add a peg to each layer and control it or you can actually animate just with drawings. Uh, when I'm doing really simple, quick things, I like to just animate with the drawings instead of using pegs. So for the head, I'm going to come up here to my advanced animation tools. And if you don't see this area, you want to go to windows, come down to toolbars and select advanced animation. So what I want to do is select the rotate tool. And this is saying basically where the pivot point is going to be for the head. I'll select the eyes layer and set the pivot point there. Nose layer. I think I'll set that about right there. And the mouth. I'll set that right on top, on the top left there. Okay. Now, one of the first things I want to work on is the eyes. So one of the things I want to do is I'm going to use the drawing view. So I'll simply go to drawing mode and I can zoom in here and I'll get my brush tool. And what I want to do is go ahead and draw in some eyelids and simple little pupils. And let's go to the next frame. And what I want to do 
Let's turn on my onion skin for this. So now I can come in and I'm just going to trace over these a little bit. I'm going to zoom out. And now that I've got those shapes, I could have just copied them, but I want it to be a little more organic. I'm going to drag a little pivot point here for the base. I want to squash these down a bit. Click on each one and kind of spread that out a little bit. So draw on the lids. All right, and then the next frame. I'm going to draw these totally flat. The lids just kind of closed. So basically, I'm going to scrub my playhead here. All right, so I have kind of drawn out a little blink there. And now I'll go back to my camera mode. And we'll go ahead and select frame 60 here. And we'll extend this. Sure. We'll select all layers here and simply press F5. All right. And what I want to do right now is make sure that the eyes, these are drawing substitutions. I need to make them all the same drawing for now. So I'll select all those layers. And I'll go to my library and just make sure those are all on drawing one. All right, so if I scrub all of those 60 frames, you see just the drawing of the eyes. Now don't worry, the other eyes that we drew are still there. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna turn on my animate button and grab my transform tool. And for the head layer, I'm going to insert a keyframe on frame one, simply press F6. And then let's say by about frame 50, I'll insert another keyframe. And I'm going to rotate the head just a little bit. Okay. Now on the eyes, I can control those drawing substitutions simply by using the brackets on my keyboard. So I'm going to press my right bracket once. That goes to frame two of the drawings. I'm going to go two frames later. Press my brackets again. That pulls up frame three. And I'm going to go a few frames later. Press my left bracket or my open bracket. Go two frames later and press it again. So I can call on those drawings. So now I've actually just done a little blink. Okay. So I'm going to turn off my onion skin. Now, if I play this, all right, so let's push this a little bit further. Now we move the head a little bit. What I also want to do, so I'll click the head and I'm going to squish this down a little bit and a little bit out. Okay. And I'm going to take the eyes and we'll insert a keyframe on frame one. And then on the same frame as the head's keyframe is, I'm going to move the eyes up here to the corner. Just rotate a little bit. And last, we'll do the nose and mouth. Let's do F6. Going to pull the nose up here.
All right, and I'm going to maybe squish the nose a little bit. All right, and we'll grab the mouth. We'll insert a keyframe on frame one and frame 50. We'll drag the mouth up here and maybe we'll tighten it up so it's kind of foreshortened there. And make sure it's going in the right spot. Okay, that looks a little better. All right, now, last but not least, let's do a little bit of color work. So I'm going to grab my paint tool. Let's go to tool properties. And I'll look over here for color and simply grab white. And what I want to do is fill in the head. And if you notice, I have a lot of really large open gaps in my work. So I'll show you a trick that I like to do. I'm simply pressing the letter K and you can see the outlines, these little blue lines in my work. So to my paint tool, I'm going to come down to stroke. And I'm just going to draw a little line to connect that line in the head, go to the eyes, and I will draw lines to connect here as well. So there's no gaps. And do the same for the other drawings here. And so this way I'm going to be able to fill these in with no problem. Now you might be thinking, well, isn't there a closed gap? Actually there is, but these are pretty large and I like to control those gaps on my own. So now I'll simply go back to paint and I can fill in each of these with no problem. I'm just going to use my less than and greater than keys to move back and forward on the keyboard. All right, looks good. And let's see, the nose. Let's go to the nose layer. Go back to our stroke. Make sure we close off the nose. Go to paint and we'll fill this in. And let's go to the head. And we'll fill the head in. So now if we scrub Our timeline there. Not too bad. There's a few things we got to change with the nose shape. I think we squished that a little bit too much. Or brought it out a little too much. All right, and so there's our simple little head turn. And this is just playing around with something I originally learned from Chris Sturgenis or Mudbubble or Keyframer or whatever he's going by these days. So uh, this is a two and a half D as he refers to it. So there is our little head turn. So we've played around with paint fills and as well as uh, setting your pivot point and just simply playing around with some drawing substitutions to create this simple little head turn. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. And if you have been putting off learning Toon Boom, I've got some great news for you. We are having a webinar on Thursday, this coming Thursday, which is June the 9th. 
3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 things that you need to know about Toon Boom Harmony. Now, this is going to be, if you've never touched Harmony before, I'm going to show you 10 basic things that can get you started and getting your first animation out there. I'm not telling you that you're going to do Fantasia 2016, but I am telling you, I will show you enough that you will be able to download the demo if you don't already own the software and go ahead and animate something for the first time because the learning curve isn't as scary as you might think. Okay. So make sure you join us. Um, again, that's on Thursday, 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And just simply go to TonyTeach.com slash webinar and you can sign up for it and we'll be sending out information about uh, when that is going to be and uh, maybe some downloads and even some little demo files that we'll be sending out to everyone that signs up. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. The more people that know about what we do, the more free and low cost tutorials we can put out. Have a good one.